Greetings everyone. This is Jed Schlackman. I'm a holistic counselor and spiritual energy healer in Miami, Florida. In this video presentation I will be covering the topic of Shungite and how that relates to bioenergy and to grounding. Shungite is a particular crystal or stone that originates in a certain region of Russia. It's something that's gained attention really in primarily recent years in the West, although it was known about in Russia many years ago. Shungite has been studied and researched and it's recognized for its properties as a grounding and protection stone. It's primarily carbon-based and it has a unique molecular structure that's present with those carbon atoms, which is thought perhaps to be the reason why it has some very strong properties. The benefits of Shungite include being able to neutralize or transform electromagnetic pollution. It can also help detoxify water. It's very good for grounding, for energetic protection from any type of stress or negative influence. Shungite is also unique in a way because it doesn't take on negative properties of its environment. Many crystals tend to accumulate or take on the energies of their environment and need to be periodically cleansed. Whereas Shungite seems to have this perpetual property of neutralizing or clearing negative energies from its surroundings without holding on to them or being influenced by them itself. The Shungite stone can come in a variety of forms. There's what's called Noble Shungite, which is in a sense the more powerful kind, and that one has sort of a silvery appearance to it, whereas the conventional appearing Shungite has more of a plain black color. Shungite can be formed into different shapes, so you'll find Shungite spheres and ovals or egg shapes. You'll find it in pyramid shapes. There's rough Shungite and polished Shungite. Just as with other types of crystals and stones, it can be modified in these different ways. Now, one of the people who's been very interested in this stone, wrote a book about it, and here's for you to see the image of the book. This book is called Shungite Protection, Healing, and Detoxification. The author is Regina Martino, and in this book she examines a lot of information about Shungite and its history as well as some more scientific-oriented research that's been done in recent years. There have actually been blind testing to see what effects this particular stone has, how people feel or sense energy and reaction to this stone, how it affects the growth of plants, how it affects different ailments, both physical and psychological ailments. If we understand it as a stone, it's good for protection, for grounding, for detoxification. We can see why it would be beneficial. It will help any organism protect itself from harmful external influences. So by strengthening and grounding the energy of that organism, it promotes health. Shungite has been used in those types of applications. 
people are finding it beneficial for physical health issues, for having greater emotional balance, for strengthening one's energy. One interesting finding shared in the book is that shungite was the most powerful and beneficial stone for repelling or neutralizing the harmful effects of man-made electromagnetic fields. Therefore, if you have mobile phones, cordless phones, if you have Wi-Fi and other types of electromagnetic pollution in your environment, then using Shanghai could be helpful to protect you from those effects to keep your energy field more strong and clear. This is not the only stone that can be used for those purposes. There are other stones like obsidian or hematite or black tourmaline that can have grounding and protecting effects. Yet shungite was the one that seemed to have overall the most beneficial and the most lasting protective effect for any of those stones. The author points out that using a stone is an aid for helping us deal with some of the issues that we confront in terms of electromagnetic pollution or other stresses in our life. However, we also need to work on our own psychological and spiritual balancing and grounding. She mentions that for people that have very noticeable electrosensitivity, people who have very strong adverse reactions and effects when they're exposed to those types of electromagnetic fields, just working with shungite or other stones isn't a full or permanent solution. It can be helpful. However, the person would also need to address unresolved issues they have probably on an emotional or spiritual level. People that have trauma that hasn't been healed on the lower chakra levels tend to have these types of sensitivities where it's hard for them to feel safe and grounded. Therefore, doing healing work that addresses those issues will be very beneficial for them and will help them be able to live more balanced and healthy lives without experiencing such negative effects from that type of stress. I'm going to show you now a couple examples of how Shungite appears. First we have the Shungite Pyramid. So this pyramid as you can see, it is not really polished, so it has more of a plain appearance. The pyramid is a geometric shape which can powerfully project or radiate energy. So forming Shungite into a pyramid is a useful way to have the energy field of that Shungite expand through a pretty large area. This can be a field that goes several feet or several yards depending on the size of the pyramid. Another nice way to form shungite is as a sphere. And here is a polished shungite sphere. And this is a pretty solid, dense, heavy type of stone. So it really has a grounding feel to it. Shanghai can come in very small stones. So even one that's just a centimeter or two can have a useful beneficial effect for grounding for personal protection. I would encourage each of you who are interested in this stone to read the book that I've just shown you in front of the camera. That book has a lot of very interesting information about the nature of our bioenergy field, of the different 
factors that can influence it. Really everything in our environment can have an impact on our energy field, both our social or emotional environment, as well as our physical environment. So different electromagnetic energies, sounds, color, and light, different aromas, different foods we eat, beverages we drink. Of course, our own thoughts and emotions are constantly rippling through our energy field and shifting it in one way or another. In the book, there's also a discussion of torsion fields. Torsion fields are, in a sense, the deepest layer of energy field that is postulated to be part of a living organism. Russian scientists have done a lot of research in regard to torsion fields, and there is a strong correlation or relationship between torsion fields and consciousness. The idea is presented that torsion fields have a spin to them, either clockwise or counterclockwise spin, and that spin can determine whether the field is beneficial for our health and well-being or harmful to us. Apparently, Shungite has the effect of transforming or neutralizing the harmful spin of some of those torsion fields, and therefore it's able to protect us from things in our environment that could have a negative impact. Shanghai is not the only tool or resource that we have to protect ourselves, to promote balance, stability, and grounding. It is one that is convenient to have with us. You can carry a Shungite stone with you wherever you go. Shungite is a tool or ally that we have from the mineral kingdom. Stones and crystals come from the earth. We could look at them as a first density aspect of the earth, with the plants being a second density level and animals being second or third density, perhaps, depending on how one defines those ranges of energy. For those that would like to learn more about different topics related to healing and spirituality, I invite you to watch more videos on this YouTube channel, if you're watching on YouTube, and also to visit my website at www.phinsights.com That's P-H-I-N-S-I-G-H-T-S dot com, C-O-M. I would like to wish everyone a good day. Namaste.